Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. In Anime Studio Pro, you have the ability to import and integrate 3D objects into your 2D cartoons. So let's say for instance you like to model in Poser or another software like Google SketchUp. You can save these 3D models and then import them into Anime Studio. To demonstrate this, I will first open up Poser. As you can see, I have the default figure on my screen. But let's say I created something really awesome and I want to import it into Anime Studio. Poser and Anime Studio talk well together, so you can import Poser project files directly into Anime Studio. So if I go up to File and Save As, and I name this, and it's a Poser scene file, and I just save it in any location I want and click Save. And now I go over to Anime Studio, go to File, Import, Poser Scene, grab that character and hit Open. You can see now the character has been brought into the software. If we take our Orbit tool, we can clearly see it is a 3D object. The advantage of the Poser Scene is that you can manipulate the 3D object. So if I go to Reset View here, and go to my special tool and select Poser. Zoom in. If I click and hold on the torso here, you can see I can bend the torso. So we have some abilities that we had in Poser imported into Anime Studio. And this can be useful if you want to animate a 3D object in Anime Studio. Okay, so now let me get rid of this and I'll go back into Poser. The other file format Anime Studio recognizes is OBJ. So if we were to go to File, Export, Wavefront OBJ, I can click OK, OK, and then I'll just again save this and name this. Click Save. Now if we go back into Anime Studio, File, Import, OBJ 3D model. I select that OBJ file and click open. And while we don't have the abilities we did with a poser scene, you can see now that the 3D object has been brought into Anime Studio. And as I said, this also works with different software. There are many different 3D modeling softwares out there. So if you have one of them and you have the ability to export as an OBJ file, you can bring your files into Anime Studio. So as an example, I will go to Google SketchUp. What I did here was create a simple 3D box. I know my 3D skills are very creative, but let's say I created, again, something really awesome that I wanted to import into Anime Studio. All I would have to do is go to File, Export, 3D Model, find my location. For the export type, choose OBJ, and then name this and click export. Now go back into Anime Studio, go to file import OBJ 3D model, grab that model, click open, and as you can see the model has been brought into the software. If I go to orbit view, we can see the box has been brought in. Finally, please keep in mind that when you import a 3D object, you are creating a 3D layer on the Layers panel. And like all layers, if you double-click on it, you have layer settings, such as the 3D options. From here, you can adjust a few different things relating to your imported 3D object. You can see that we have edges, shading, and other options to play with. So check those out if the object you imported doesn't look quite how you want it to. You can always play with these settings. 
So if you are a 3D modeler and you're looking to integrate some of those models into your 2D cartoons, you can definitely do that with Poser and OBJ integration in Anime Studio. Anyway, that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so check those out, and I'll see you next time.